So if you haven't heard by now, Hollywood is in a bit of a pickle. You see, the actors and writers have recently gone on strike. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, what does that have to do with me? Well, I'll tell you. If you're a fan of shows such as Stranger Things, The Mandalorian, Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, House of the Dragon, well, they might be delayed for a little while. And if you're a cinema fan, you like things such as Deadpool 3, Captain America Brave New Order, The Thunderbolts, Blade, or anything like Avengers King Dynasty, heck, even Avatar is being delayed. TV and movies will be pushed back and new content that hasn't already been made will be delayed. But how did all this craziness start? What was the root cause of all these problems? Well, my friends, I think we might be the problem. You see, this all started when the common people decided to cut cable, aka cutting the cord. That led to people just deciding to go to streaming services for entertainment instead, with things such as Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, Disney Plus, which resulted in less people going to the movie theaters, which means movie studios and TV studios had to rely on using traditional IP such as superheroes, Star Wars, and that is the reason why we keep getting constant reboots of things that we've already gotten in the past, which is violently annoying. So why did the writers strike? The writers strike started May 2nd, 2023. The Writers Guild of America, representing 11,500 people including screenwriters, went on strike over an ongoing labor dispute against the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television. According to a report titled, Writers Are Not Keeping Up, while series budgets have soared over the past decade, median writers' producers' pay have fallen. The WGA points out that when you adjust for inflation, screen pay has declined 14% in the last five years. All the WGA demands is an increase to a minimum compensation in all areas of media, mainly increased residuals and appropriate TV series writing compensations from pre to post production, including increased contributions to pensions, health plans, and strengthening professional standards for overall productions for the writers and more. All they want to do is be treated like regular normal people in regular normal jobs. Is that really complicated or too hard to ask for? As of April 2023, the current average income for Hollywood writers is about $69,000 a year or $70,000 a year. And according to the Writers Guild, the writer producers was given about six thousand dollars per week in 2023 due to inflation the minimum would be about eight thousand dollars per week another aspect that the writers are dealing with is the murkiness of mini rooms a mini room is a smaller version of a full-scale writer's room there are fewer people at the table with no promise of a show coming to fruition so basically they cobble together a bunch of writers in a room that get to outline full season arcs and script shows on a tight deadline, sometimes for a little more than four weeks, but often it's four to eight weeks. And the show might even die on the vine, meaning that all that work that they did could be for nothing. Many rooms generally exist for limited series and smaller shows. Most of these are not yet approved. So things that are in pilot season or in upcoming de development, there's a lot of that. Many rooms consist of few writers than ordinary writer rooms, and they are paid a lot less and may not even be employed for the full duration of the show or production. Now that we know that, why are the actors striking? Well, the actors rely on residual checks. Residuals are long-term payments to those who have worked on films, television shows, and are negotiated by unions for reruns and other airing shows or movies after their initial release. The basic pay structure was developed in the 1960s and the last time the writers and actors were on strike together, this is what they fought for. Streaming services are sketchy with their 
streaming residuals. Sometimes you don't get paid a lot. Sometimes it can be cents. A lot of actors, including actors of big name streaming shows such as Orange is the New Black, get paid pennies on the dollar versus something like Law and Order or any of the Dick Wolf shows or heck, even CSI shows that you see on TV. It would be better to be a person from the 90s or successful sitcoms like Family Matters or Full House and Friends. They're always in syndication and they're swimming in buku bucks. So they're safe for the rest of their lives. But people who are in shows like WandaVision, She-Hulk, you don't have a good agent. You were a background writer or you were an extra. It's safe to say you're probably not seeing good residuals. This leads us into the people who are responsible for all this nonsense, the CEOs. An anonymous executive told Deadline, the end game is to allow things to drag on until the union members start losing their apartments and losing their houses. One of my favorite actors, Ron Perlman, had colorful words to say to the CEO in regards to his comments. The mother who said we're gonna keep this thing going until people start losing their houses and their apartments. Listen to me, mother There's a lot of ways to lose your house. Some of it is financial, some of it is karma, and some of it is just figuring out who the said that, and we know who said that, and where he lives. There's a lot of ways to lose your house. You wish that on people. You wish that families starve while you're making $27 million a year for creating nothing? Be careful, mother Be really careful. Because that's the kind of that stirs up. Peace out. Disney CEO Bob Iger called the Hollywood strike not realistic as his critics call for his $27 million pay package to be more unrealistic, according to Insider. Today, he earns an estimated 27 million salary as the CEO of Disney, according to Entrepreneur. On the Warner Brothers side, CEO David Zasloff has been paid $498 million between 2018 and 2022. That is a staggering 384 times the average pay of the average Hollywood writer. That is insane. Writers Guild of America is demanding for regulations around the use of technology to ensure fair labor conditions and compensation for Hollywood professionals. The WGA has expressed that AI cannot write or rewrite literary material, can't be used as source material, and should not cover anything that union contracts have been used. Actors' fear of AI comes in the form of individual faces and voices becoming prominently used in future movies, i.e. taking the likeness of actors or background actors and reusing them in perpetuity without compensation to the families and actors. We've seen that in things such as the Flash film or heck, even de-aging Harrison Ford. While it seems appropriate for the time, it can later on evolve into this Frankenstein of a mess that can lead to less compensation for those who worked hard in this industry. What started off as a Snapchat filter has slowly become more commonplace in modern movies. Fran Dresser stated that if we don't stand tall right now, we're all going to be in trouble. We're all going to be in jeopardy of being replaced by machines. And honestly, her sentiment stands true. AI is a useful tool and it can be used as such if we do it properly. But when we use it to undermine the working class people, then that's when we have a problem. But what can you do during this entire strike? Well, expect to have a lot less content from people who rely on movies and television shows as their bread and butter. If you happen to be a part of SAG, and SAG covers more than just actors, it goes into voice acting and celebrities, DJs, internet personalities. If you are a member of SAG, please follow the regulations and don't be a scab 
or an arrogant fool because you're stabbing a lot of people in the back and don't be surprised once the strike is over to have a lot less friends and opportunities. And if you aren't a member of SAG, what you can do is uh, it's a great time to be a content creator. Just get out there and expect for the YouTube and TikTok generation to really be the front force face of entertainment. If you agree or disagree with anything I've said, uh, let me know in the comment section and let's get a discussion going. And if you want to see more, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let me know the next time we upload. And thanks for watching. <laughs>